<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First off, and give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasam, Yahweh Sah, Bahasam, and I want to give double honors to the apostles and out as a great millstone. And this is Sis Shalom to the Akim out here that's doing again, pushing his work in truth and necessity. Okay. When we're going on this video, okay, that the men of the Lord will be socially despised, okay? And, um, you know, that's how it is when, you know, you come into the knowledge of being a Hebrew Israelite, okay, which is not a widely accepted belief among the world, okay? Even though it's the truth according to the Bible, you know, one of the things that, you know, realizing that this world don't care about what's inside of the Bible, okay? But the Hebrew Israelites, okay, will be looked at, okay, as the word um, socially despised, okay? It says to be socially despised means to be looked down upon or regarded as unworthy or inferior by a social group, okay? It can also mean to be rejected or sunned by a group of people, okay? It says to the word despise to feel a strong dislike for someone or something because you think they are bad or have, or, or have no value, okay? And, um... <clears throat> that's this whole entire world, okay? And that's because, you know, uh the Messiah, okay, um he he spoke against this world, okay? Um the book of um John uh seven and uh seven, right? You know, I started at six. It says, then Yahweh Shah, right? Or the world is going to be called Jesus, right? A lot of people can't receive that, okay? That is real name in the Bible is Yahweh Shah, okay, in the Hebrew. It says, said unto them, my time is not yet come, but your time is always ready, okay? It says, the world cannot hate you. But me, it hates because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. And what we are really speaking, man, <laughs> okay, through, through you know, the Bible, okay, we're just speaking the words of the Lord, okay? The Lord is going to come back and, you know, he's going to gather his elect, okay? If you're not of the elect, then know well, okay? Be prepared to, you know, uh be put to death on this side, okay? And that's a reality, right? Because you're not going to make it out of here alive, right? A lot of people think that, you know, that they um, are born to die anyway, okay? it's just, When it's your time to go, it's your time to go, okay? <laughs> but when we tell them, you know, why you, you're going to go that way, Right? Why are you going to die? All right? You're going to die in your sins, especially if you are Israelite, two-thirds of our people. Okay? That's that's a prophecy that, you know, uh, you can't change. You can't change the prophecy. Okay? Um, uh, the prophecy says, Zechariah 13 and 8, it says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay, but the third shall be left therein. Okay, in the uh, Amplified Version, it says, but the third will be left alive. Okay, so two, two part, two thirds of our people are going to die. Okay, they're going to be cut off. Okay, and die here, but the third will will be left alive. Right, <laughs> I'm reading in the Amplified Version, and I will bring the third part through the fire. Refine them as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name, right? Which the Lord's name is Yahweh, and son name is Yahweh Shah. And I will listen and answer them. I will say, They are my people, 
and they shall say, or they will say, the Lord is my God. Okay? And that uh, one-third, okay, because this is what the Bible say, okay, as much as we are, you know, Lord, when I'm a part of the elect, right, as much as we are um, despised in this society, right, um, what's the word, uh, uh, outcast, right, that's the, that's the key word, okay, to be an outcast, an exile, a pariah, right, it says a person cast out or rejected, okay, um, then right here it says, uh, socially despised, okay, to discard, to reject, okay, so they reject what we say because what the Bible say, the world cannot hate you, but me it hates, as the Bible, as the Lord said, okay, now this is the book of, um, Psalm 147, okay, Psalm 147, and, uh, uh, two, in the, um, header it says, praise for Jerusalem's rest rest restoration and prosperity, okay, and our people don't know what's good for them, okay, because what we speak is, you know, the restoration and the prosperity of our people, right, which ultimately is going to happen, but they, as the Bible will say that, you know, they're enemies for, you know, the gospel's sake right now. Okay, I'm going to start at 1, uh, Psalm 147 and 1, right, in the Amplified Version. It says, praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our gracious and majestic God. Yahweh, praise is becoming and appropriate. Um, it says, the Lord is building up Jerusalem. He is gathering together the exiles of ex of Israel, right? In the amp in the KJV, right? It says uh, he gathers together the outcast of Israel. Okay, it says he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, healing their pain and and comforting their sorrow. Right? It says he counts the number of stars. He called them all. By their names, great is our majestic and mighty Lord and abundant in strength. His understanding is inexhaustible. Okay, it says infinite and boundless. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts down the wicked to the ground. Okay, so our enemies are going to be, you know, taken out. Okay, that's these, our enemies speak, speak bad against us. Okay. Um, this is one of the things that they say, right? For um people who, you know, are scoffers, corners, okay? Uh Jeremiah uh thirty and uh seven, right? Seventeen. Yeah. Uh Jeremiah thirty and uh seventeen, right? Um, 16 is good. Okay, but I'm going to get to 17. It says, for I will restore health unto you, and I will heal you of your wounds, saith the Lord. Because they called you an outcast, saying, this is Zion, whom no man seeks after. Okay? It's in the Amplified Version, it says, this is Zion, no one see seeks her. And no one cares for her. Nobody cares for what Hebrew Israelites have to say. Okay? Because it goes against this the society. It goes against the norm. Okay? They, they, they don't believe in the Bible. Okay? They don't have faith in it. Okay? It says, Thus saith the Lord, once again, the restoration of Jacob. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of J Jacob's tents and have mercy on his dwelling places. And the city shall be Build it up, I mean, upon her own heap, okay? And the palace shall remain after the manner thereof, okay? And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, right? We speak against this, uh, 
you know, feast that these people are, are about to, um, you know, delve into, right? Which is, you know, the when you go on to it, right? Our people were slaughtered, okay? Our, you know, the Na Native Americans were slaughtered, okay? Doing that. But that's not what this is talking about. It's not talking about Thanksgiving, okay? That, that these people, you know, uh, know, okay? You should be thanking the Lord for giving us this knowledge, okay? It says, and the voice of them that make merry... Right, I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Okay. So the ones who are uh, socially despised in this society, the Lord is going to honor them because they've been cast away. Okay, don't nobody you know care for. The Israelites, you even got other Israelites that don't care for other Israelites. They don't care for us, you know, teaching the truth, in particular us at Great Millstone. Okay. But, you know, the scriptures say, if we were of the world, okay, this is what it says. Yeah, it's in, uh, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. This is, uh, John 15 and 19. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Okay. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. The, the Lord, the Messiah, Yahweh Shah, okay, he was uh, socially despised. He was hated. That's one of the reasons why he was put to death. It says, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Right? And when you go into the word persecute, okay. It's mostly because of, you know, us teaching was the, the words of the Lord, man. Okay? It's persecute. It says, um, subject someone to hostility and ill treatment, especially because of their ethnicity, religion, or sexual orientation, or their political views. Right? It says, to oppress to abuse, to victimize, to ill-treat, to mistreat, okay, to discriminate against, and all of these wicked groups, man, you got Satanism, right, you got the alphabet community, okay, you got racism, you know, you got all different types of wickedness out here, right, um, all these different beliefs, right, but when it comes down to the Hebrew Israelites, in particular, Great Millstone, we are the most hated out of everybody that's in the world. Okay? Nobody hates a particular belief as much as they hate the Hebrew Israelites. Okay? And that's for all of these different reasons. They're going to persecute us. Okay. It says the servant is not greater than his, his Lord. Right. They persecuted the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Okay. But the all these things will they do unto you for, for my name's sake. Because they know not him that sent me. Okay, it's because they don't know the most high. Okay, and they think that they do. A lot of people think that they know God. Okay, but when we get on them and show, hey, you don't know the Lord. The Lord ain't dealing with you. You know, they don't like that. 
Even though the Lord ain't in their thoughts, they don't like to hear the, the, and the Lord ain't dealing with you. You know, they don't like that. Okay. It says, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hates me hates my father also. Okay. So if you hate us, then you hate the one who sent, sent us. Okay, we just, you know, doing the work of the one that sent us, okay? And we're going to be hated for that. We're not going to be liked. That's part of the, you know, the cost of being in this thing, okay? But, you know, it's the price we got to pay, okay? The Lord paid, you know, and, and, and he's reaping the benefits right now, <laughs> okay? And we pray and hope, you know, that we reap the benefits as well. Okay, so with that, you know, I want to do this quick little video, man. You know, Lord, when it is edifying, uh, so I want until next time.